How's it going, y'all? Right now I'm in Memory Grove Park. This is an absolutely beautifully manicured park here in the Avenues neighborhood of Salt Lake City. The Avenues neighborhood is without a doubt one of my favorite neighborhoods here. And at this park, you're gonna see, you know, off-leash dogs running around, having fun, families uh, just taking a walk. It is beautiful. There's all these monuments, hence the name memory grove and they just do such a good job with this park it is beautiful right up here you can see maybe you can see the capitol building is like right here so that's capitol hill right to the east of it is the avenues when people ask me what is like the most beautiful neighborhood in salt lake city the avenues is definitely right up at the top of that list i can't think of anything more beautiful all right the avenues virtual tour starts How's it going y'all? Welcome to the avenues of Salt Lake City. My name is Jesse Lynch and I run the hardest working real estate team in the game. We're called Welcome to Salt Lake City. You can check out our website, welcome to saltlakecity.co. But this YouTube channel is all about helping you find a place to call home here in beautiful Salt Lake City and Utah in general, if I'm being totally honest. And that's whether you're buying a house for the first time or just moving here from a different state, different city, different country, different planet whatever it is relocations first-time home buyers that's what we do and that's what we do better than anybody else so if either of those things appeal to you do us both a favor subscribe to this channel click the bell to get notified give the video a thumbs up say what's up in the comments I'd appreciate that very very much and as always if you're thinking about moving here again we have two super slick ways to get a hold of us website welcome to saltlakecity.co uh, we have a contact form there super easy to fill out or just shoot us an email at info at welcome to saltlakecity.co they lead to the same spot me and, <laughs> and uh you know we look forward to hearing from you and we really look forward to showing you around beautiful salt lake city we are big fans of this place we love it it's truly one of the greatest cities in the world in my humble opinion and this spot i'm in right now the avenues is one of the best spots within one of the best spots <laughs> i'm excited to show you i do love this place you can see i'm like i'm still technically in the lower avenues and there's some awesome views you get some sort of just vistas you know just down basically towards downtown and uh the houses here are beautiful the parks here are beautiful but all right we got a whole bunch more video that's going to show you that so stick around think sums up more of like the old school very very charming part of the avenues there is a pretty diverse housing stock here so it's hard to zero in on uh, what neighborhoods to show but I think this one uh, kind of speaks to the more like historical I mean just like craftsman row and it is super nice these houses are very well maintained for the most part they have mature trees uh, the streets are tree lined not all of them but most of them and yeah there's just a lot of character here and then so and then as you get further east towards the east bench towards the mountains you're gonna find that the houses get newer uh <laughs> more epic more mansion like and uh and you're, you're not gonna have all the character of like the old craftsman character but they are there's still quite a bit of character there they're still quite unique um, and super interesting it's just not going to be the old school feel still a lot of like beautiful mature trees and all that 
but it's just gonna feel a little bit different than where I'm standing right now. One thing I love about the avenues is just the proximity to the mountains. The mountains are just right there. You can see them from several different spots uh, within, even I'm sort of closer to like lower avenues right now, and I still have cool mountain views uh, once you step outside. And then as you go really further up, uh, some of the views are just insane. You'll see in this video, they're like, they're just nuts. I'll actually be going up there later on in the video just to show you like up high in the avenues is some of the coolest houses, some of the coolest views that you will find in all of Salt Lake, especially Salt Lake proper. This neighborhood, the avenues, is named uh, after sort of how the streets are laid out. It's like a perfect grid and it's super simple. It's about as easy as it gets. I'm on third right now. That way is second. Another block is first. So that's all normal. People are probably used to that. Numerical and then this street back here is S Street. Uh, behind that is R Street. Up ahead of me here is T Street and so forth, right? Just alphabetical, super easy. The avenues was first surveyed in the 1850s too. So it is like ultimately the first neighborhood within Salt Lake City. Uh, it is home to the governor's mansion, which wasn't built originally as a governor's mansion, built by like a silver <laughs> magnet, uh, which is kind of interesting. And then it sort of just became the governor's mansion after that. But yeah, 1850s is when the neighborhood was first surveyed, obviously, I don't think these houses are quite that old, um, but as you get closer in to downtown, that is where, you know, I think that uh, historical sort of piece you're gonna experience a little bit more. The mansions down there uh, are super cool. And then the houses that are down there that aren't really mansions are gonna be a bit more modest and not quite as, uh, I don't know, extravagant as the other mansions nearby. I think you'll find that there's a sort of uh, vibrant artistic culture here in the Avenues neighborhood. Um, that I think there's a pride in the character of the homes, right? And that's sort of like embraced, doubled down on, and there are some like independent shops and stuff like that. Not a ton, um, but there are some. You could walk to a coffee shop potentially. Here's a Japanese spa. It looks really nice. And I already kind of talked about this, but the avenue sits just east of Capitol Hill and basically butts up right up to uh, the foothills, right up to East Bench, and kind of, and this is kind of where Salt Lake ends, is right where those mountains begin. And so technically, to the north, you have the city of Bountiful. To the east, you have Red Butte Canyon, uh, the like research natural area, I think is what it's called. To the south, you have South Temple, the street, and then you, uh, which is also Central City and University neighborhoods. And then to the west, you have City Creek and Capitol Hill. And you're about seven minutes from downtown, depending on where you are within the area. You're maybe 15 minutes from the airport, so it's extremely convenient as far as that goes. There is not a ton of commercial space, except the smaller retail stuff. We'll get to that later. And you've got a population of around 20,000, let's say, give or take, 20,000. Um, it's not that dense. Like, it, it gets a little more dense closer to downtown, but the yards are like generally pretty decent, not huge. Um, and then as you get further up, you know, into the mountains, then some, some of the yards are beautiful. And again, crazy views up there. I'm excited to show you those. According to niche.com, the avenues is the number one best place to live, both in Salt Lake City and in Utah overall. That's a pretty, that's, you know, there's only one of those. So that's a pretty good uh, bragging point, if you will. Uh, the schools here, generally quite good. Again, you're gonna be served by the, the small creature <laughs> down there. You're gonna be served by that Salt Lake City Public School District, which again gets a B plus, but the schools that serve the avenue specifically get an A. Primarily, you're gonna have access to West High School, which gets an A. It is the number one most diverse, diverse high school in all of Utah, <laughs> and it is ranked number third best college prep high school in Utah. 
as well for middle schools you are going to be served by uh, Bryant Middle School which gets a C plus Salt Lake City open classroom also gets a C plus and for elementary schools you get Ensign School and Wasatch School which both get and A. So other than middle schools, which for some reason get a C plus, pretty much everything else that serves the area is gonna be an A. As far as housing goes, you're gonna have a median sale price of like high 600s. Uh, I, you, can, you can definitely spend more than that if you want, if you have the budget and you know, the house will justify it. There are absolutely gorgeous houses here. So, you know, you're not just like, you're not just spending for the area, you can definitely, uh, get your money's worth as far as a house is considered. Uh, whether you're thinking, you know, uh, cool, like Craftsman Bungalow, or one of the more epic houses up the hill, or even just maybe like five blocks west of here, you're gonna have some like very cool single family homes that are borderlining on mansion uh, that still aren't quite up on the hill, but they are very, very cool. I would say on the low end for a single family home, you're looking at 400K uh, and that's probably, it's gonna be small. I think there's a two bed, one bath on right now for 400K. So not huge, but it looks like pretty decent. So 400K to live in this neighborhood, not too shabby on the low end, but then you can easily spend, <laughs> spend north of uh, 3 million. I'm sure there are some homes in the area that just aren't on the market that are north of five million as well. But those aren't gonna go up for sale that often because they are very specific homes and you know palatial estates. If you're into condo living, then uh, you, you can find condos here for maybe like 200K. You can also easily spend north of 800K on like a, you know, obviously a pretty sweet condo. <laughs> 800K would get you a very nice condo in this area for sure. Uh, one interesting fact is it's basically a 50-50 split of rentals and owners as far as people who live here, which is actually pretty decent for a city. It's not unusual to find uh, like much higher ratios of renters in areas that are this close to downtown. But I think this place doesn't feel at all rentery, um, even though it's 50-50 split, it doesn't really feel this. Like this area and real close to downtown is probably the closest you're gonna to get to that feeling. And I think just that accessibility to to all of the things, to the nightlife and all that is probably why there still is a fair amount of renters here. You can, you know, walk or ride your bike to a shop. You could definitely ride your bike to downtown, to the bar, to a club, something like that, or, you know, take an Uber. If, uh, if that's your, your thing, certainly in the winter, that sounds a lot nicer <laughs> than a bike ride to downtown. But yeah, it's definitely just, it's just a cool spot. I'm a fan and uh, all right, enough talking about it. Let's just, let me just show you some more. Right back here is Terrace Hills Drive. This street right here is 13th. And then uh, prepare yourself here. Right down here is 11th Street Park, which by the way, I think it should have a more epic name if I'm being honest. R let me show you again. Okay, the views here, they're just some of the best views in all of Salt Lake City. And, uh, and this park, is no different. This park has insane views and it's called 11th Street Park. A small gripe, but I think it should be called like Super Epic Park <laughs> or something like that. But all right, anyways, we're talking pros and cons of living here in the avenues, which is a dope neighborhood. Big fan. Uh, cons are hard, but let's start with pros. You know me, good schools. I always think good schools, it's just something to consider. It's good for resale. A lot of folks are moving to Salt Lake City for those good schools. Maybe you're leaving somewhere with, you know, less desirable schools. I think that's a big draw. How do dogs know it's the mailman, by the way? <laughs> that's incredible. Uh, so anyways, good schools. Again, kind of on average, you're gonna get an A. Uh, the one sort of 
standoff for that is gonna be middle schools. Middle schools here kind of have a C plus rating. So keep that in mind. If you have kids who are just going into middle school or something, eh, maybe that's something you wanna take into account. But <laughs> there is gonna be uh, good schools waiting for them <laughs> in high school, specifically with that West High School. Uh, second pro <laughs> for me, I swear so many people have driven by this house and the dog didn't do anything and then the mailman showed up and he's just like, not the mailman. Sorry, mail people. <laughs> uh, crazy. Anyways, so next pro for me, it's just going to be proximity to the city. But pretty easy to get there. You can see it, which again, these views are stupid. I don't know how many times I've said that so far, but it's amazing. So you're maybe like, eh, 10 minutes to downtown, something like that. Certainly from up here, some parts of the avenues are, are almost downtown adjacent. So you're, I don't know, a couple minutes from downtown, especially as you get down to the lower avenues. All right, I'm just gonna, what am I doing? I should just be showing you the views the whole time. I gotta walk backwards. Hopefully I don't fall. I guess part of that sort of convenient to downtown uh, different side of the same coin is like convenience to the mountains. You're gonna have access to trailheads within the Avenues neighborhood. There are three that I can think of. The first is the Twin Peaks, second is Bonneville Shoreline Trail, and third is Terrace Hill. Uh, they're pretty much all this way, except uh, Bonneville Shoreline uh, in the park that I started the whole video in. There's a trailhead to Bonneville Shoreline Trail there. I mean, you're in it, you know, you're, <laughs> you're like right up here and you, but you also can get these views and just drive here. So that's super cool. Speaking of that park and then before I leave this park entirely, the park spaces here in the avenues are really, really nice, beautifully maintained. And yeah, I have literally no bad thing to say about them. I, I guess this could be sort of a park and maybe it's a con to you. I don't, I don't particularly mind it, but uh, it is home. The avenues is home to the largest uh, cemetery in all of Salt Lake City. So it takes up a decent uh, landmass here. It's basically just on the other side of this park. Um, I don't know, some people don't wanna be that close to a uh, cemetery, but I don't mind. It's a, it's a pretty cemetery. So keep that in mind if you have weird feelings about cemeteries or anything like that. Something to consider. And the next pro is uh, you, you have good proximity to conveniences, but you're not really gonna be in the avenues for most of them. I think there's a Smith's, um, so which is like a grocery store for people who are not from here, but mostly you are leaving the avenues to get to the shops, but like Center City is like right there and has a ton of shops, uh, like grocery stores and I don't know, other, plenty of other conveniences in that Center City area. And it's like right there. So sometimes I might say that's a con that there's none within the avenues, but I don't know, they're so close that it might as well be. And then last pro, obviously there's more, but last pro that I can think of right now is basically you're gonna have a pretty diverse housing stock. Obviously up here, you're gonna get these like epic houses with insane views, <laughs> you know? And as certainly as you go higher and higher up, they get just crazier and crazier. You will see there will be plenty of like B-roll showing that, but, <laughs> Yeah, they're just so cool up here. There's just so many like nuts houses. Um, but then as you get down uh, to like the lower avenues and even the lower part of the upper avenues, uh, you're gonna find more historic houses, which can be sort of epic in their own ways, but you're not gonna have the like amazing views uh, in the same way that you have them up here. Um, but the housing stock is quite diverse. On the low end, you're at 400K to get into this neighborhood in a single family home. Uh, and then again, you can easily spend three plus million. Uh, but yeah, and then there's kind of a variety in between if you want you know, an old classic home, you could spend 800K and it'll just be, you know, a bigger one of those. And then you can also get a, a house up here. You, you don't have to spend the whole 3.5, you know, maybe, maybe it'd be close to a million. Uh, you're not gonna get much up here, even like a more modest house up here for under a million. Okay, and then for cons, I'm actually gonna go down here. Hopefully I don't, hopefully I don't wipe out. First con for me, <laughs> is that these hills, 
even the groomed ones, even like the paved uh, roads, just the fact that these hills are here, they're not always gonna be the most fun, especially in the winter. You know, I'm thinking about cars. <laughs> I'm thinking about, you know, driving up this hill right after a fresh snow. That's not gonna be an absolute blast, um, but it does lend itself to these great views. So, I don't know. What are you gonna do? Personally, I'll take the hills. I'll deal with a little bit of a pain in the butt that they are gonna make. But then even walking, right? Walking up a hill, biking up the hills, uh, you can go for a bike ride, but part of it is gonna be quite challenging, especially if you start up here and head down there. And then actually, aside from that, just like some of the lawns here are kind of nuts because they're on a hill. So some of the lawns you're gonna have to deal with like pretty, pretty real, you know, hills. You're gonna be like pushing the lawnmower or like, I don't know, all sideways pushing the lawnmower. You know what I mean? Okay. Or you get somebody else to do it, I guess. Next con for me is like, yeah, it's convenient to downtown, but it's not convenient to I-15. You're maybe like 15 minutes just to the highway, especially up here. Again, closer to downtown, it's not gonna be so bad, but if you're up here and you're driving to Provo or something, it's it's like 15 minutes before you're even on to the highway to get to Provo. So eh, that could be annoying for some people. And then next con is it's just not the most walkable neighborhood. It's I think the walk score is like 60, which is not that great, especially for a semi-urban place such as this. You can go for a walk and it's beautiful, but you can't really walk to many different stores or shops or anything like that. It's, there's a fairly limited even just amount of those things here. So for sure, we're mostly going to drive, you know, it'd be hard to live here without a vehicle of some sort. Again, especially up here. But if you're, if you have a house like this, you have a car for the most part, right? Like, so I'm not really like, oh, these people really got it bad because they have to drive everywhere. They probably already, you know, are, are using vehicles. Um, but if you're moving here and you're trying to, you know, take the bus everywhere, you're for sure going to have to be in the lower, uh, the lower avenues. But if, even still, you're going to be bussing and it's not going to be quite as like just walkable. You're not going to be able to just walk out the door, go to the store, go to a shop, go to a restaurant, go to a bar. There might be a few, like you might luck out and be able to like go to like the one that you're close to, but I wouldn't count on it. And then last con for me is basically just as you get into the lower avenues, those houses are getting pretty, pretty old. And a lot of them do not have garages. Personally, I like a garage. I don't love to park out on the street or even out like off street parking anymore. There was a time in my life <laughs> where that was fine, but I'm beyond that. I want to have my vehicle covered. I want to prevent against theft or anything like that. So the, that's just kind of a little bit of a bummer. There's not gonna be garages everywhere in like the lower avenues. That makes sense. And in fairness, those houses were built before people were driving cars anyways. So, you know, it makes sense. But all right, that's it for pros and cons. Hope you enjoyed this view. Let's go for a drive. This is Hilltop Road. Right back there is 18th, which is basically about as far north as you can go uh, in the Avenues neighborhood. And it's very special up here. These houses are beautiful. Uh, they're just <laughs> immaculately maintained. You're gonna have potential for some of the best views in, again, in all of Salt Lake City. I know I've said that a thousand times, but that's what it's about up here, as far as I'm concerned. That's a huge, huge part of it. You're gonna find a pretty good mixture of house styles up here, just like some kind of like more traditional, just like new buildy type homes. You're gonna find some sort of like contemporary homes, maybe from like the 70s and 80s when they were doing like a modern thing back then, but now it doesn't really look modern anymore. You're definitely gonna find modern homes that are like modern to today's standards, um, very sleek lines, minimal, that kind of thing. And then you're even gonna find some, I don't know, like ramblers, some like mid-century modern, or even just like vaguely post-war type stuff up here. But for the most part, it's epic houses with 
uh, yeah, potential for epic views. If I had to sum up the avenues, for me, uh, again, I'm gonna start, you're gonna know. It's gonna be epic views, okay, right, of course. Second, it's gonna be beautiful homes, both very modern and very, very old. And then third is, I mean, it's voted number one best place to live, not only in Salt Lake City, but also in Utah. So, I mean, that's pretty good, right? <laughs> that's hard to be mad at. Uh, but, you know, I think it's not gonna be for everybody. I realize that. I, I realize that like, there's an entire, it's entirely possible that you're gonna come here and it's just like not gonna be the right fit for you. You're gonna wanna be a little more suburban or a little closer to conveniences or whatever, right? Or maybe your budget doesn't work for here and you wanna be more suburban for that reason. Totally understood, but whatever it is, just get a hold of us and we would love to help you zero in on what the right choice is for you. We realize that everybody has like a distinct sort of lifestyle and needs and whatever. So I just wanted to show you the views again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we, we, you know, it's uh, everybody's different. Everybody has different things that they need. And if you're moving here from out of state, then you don't necessarily know what those things are, right? And, or you don't know what areas will provide you with those things. That's where we come in. So get a hold of us. We have two very slick ways to get a hold of us. Basically go to our website, welcome to Salt Lake City C O. We have a contact form there. Fill it out, super easy. Or just shoot us an email at info at welcome to Salt Lake City C O. They lead to the same place, but you know, it's up to you how you want to reach out. And if it feels just a little too early to reach out, just go ahead and follow us on Instagram at welcome to Salt Lake City. And yeah, I don't know, it's just maybe a good way to stay in touch. And as always, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified, give the video a thumbs up, say what's up in the comments. We appreciate that. And I think that's going to be the best way for you just to kind of stay in touch, keep a lay of the land as far as Salt Lake City goes. And uh, yeah, and then by the time you reach out, you'll be a pro, you'll know what you're doing, and uh, we'll be ready to go. All right, y'all, thank you, we did it. This is the avenues of Salt Lake City. Hope you enjoyed, I definitely did. One of the best spots. Have a good one, bye-bye.